Well, howdy, folks. Sean here from HikingWithSean.com. And today, sorry, I, I heard a squirrel. I was just making sure it wasn't sneaking up on me. But anyway, back to the video. Today, I am reviewing something, and it's a cool product um, I picked up. And it's, it's, from a, it's from a company called Cycle Torch. So let me show you what it looks like here. This is it, Cycle Torch Shark 500. And there he is, there we have it. This is a bike light. It's a pretty cool bike light. Um, I really like it. Um, I have some footage I'm gonna share with you where I used it. And now I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to uh, assemble and everything like that. So let's begin. So to give you an idea of what's in the box, I put the light back in the box here. I got the combo, which is the cycle torch, uh, you know, front headlamp light. I call it a headlamp. It's a headlight, and then also the uh, the red backlight, the rear real light. So here's what comes in the box. These were in the bottom of the box. I took them out because I've already used them to charge the device. You just plug it in it takes those I'm not too sure what what you call them but it's those standard uh, charging you know extension it's not the iPhone but it's the one that fit into the like Android phones uh, both of them are like that it's USB you can plug it into a USB port on your computer or if you have a charger and whatnot um, I have a, a surge protector that has a couple of USB ports and it charges up pretty quick. I've used it till it's been dead and uh, charged up in a couple of hours. So it's pretty quick. Um, comes with, as you can see, let me do this without dropping anything. So we got the light. This is the main light. Got the fasteners to fasten the light. We got the rear light. And then we got Smokey the cat. Smokey not included. Hey Smokey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You got a stick? You got a stick? Oh, okay. So, next. Sorry. I know some of you want Smokey included, but Smokey not included. Just don't stand there, Smokey. I might accidentally lock you in. <laughs> so, next, we're going to fasten it to the bike. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Okay, so you have your light here. And you can see that there's these lips, and that is where this thing goes, this fastener. So you put, you can see the fastener has this, this deal here and that. This fastener is nice because it could practically fit any kind of bike. So you start by putting that there in the front. It clicks right, puts right in, you know, and there's not, there's a more rubber than there is gap. So you really have to pull it out to get it out. And then we'll go over here to my bike. And you can see, to put it on, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory. You just get it up there and hook it in. And you could tighten it, go around any kind of bar. Um, and it's on there, it's secure. It's really secure. And to take it off, you just, you know, just as, just as easy as it went on just stretch it and take it off just like that really simple really simple design um, and it works and I've ridden on some mountain bike trails and that stays put to operate it you press that that turns the main brightest light on you press it again it'll dim down to the medium and then you press it again and it'll dim down to the very low light. If you press it again, you get a pulse. So you could see the pulse. And when you press it one more time, you get a very like, uh, just a slow pulse. So that's what you get there. To turn it off, you just press it and hold. And that turns it off. Very simple. Alrighty. I'm gonna test out the cycle torch and a big long tunnel up here. 
and let my girlfriend go ahead with her light and show you all how good it is. So, there you go. Pretty bright. That is pretty bright. That is that first setting when I first turn it on. And I'll press it again here. And this is kind of, there's flash. Be good for if you're riding at daytime and you want to kind of show people. And that's kind of a, just a slower flash. There's that. There's a little bit dimmer. There's a little bit dimmer. There's the flash. The slower flash and then the... But I'll show you this rear light that comes with it. There we go. So, you can see that's pretty bright. I mean, people have definitely noticed me um, notice me from behind. So, it's definitely a good one. Alrighty, folks. That pretty much covers this little review of the Cycle Torch Shark 500. And I want to say that I, I highly recommend this uh, bike light. If you want something inexpensive that provides a lot of light, this is a, a really good brand. Um, so I definitely check them out. I'm going to put the information in description below as long as, as well as that, uh, promo code, even if I'm, I don't know if I'm supposed to give it out or not, but I'm going to give it out anyway. <laughs> so I'll put that in there and, uh, you can, uh, enjoy it. And I'm definitely a fan of this light. Um, I have another light that's much brighter, but I like to keep it on a specific bike. And now I could take this on my other stuff and feel confident that it will get me through the night i uh, rode for a couple of hours one day and it was still bright and i kept it on bright so it uh it stays stays lit for a long time so thanks for watching until next time i'll see you on the trail